What is a market cap and how to use the formula? I ask you guys if you were interested in educational videos about things like the market cap and PE ratio. And you answered yes. I think it's very useful and helpful of course to know exactly what these terms and ratios mean. It helps you to have a better understanding of the company and in the end it helps you to do a better fundamental analysis. So here we are, explaining the market cap, the first of many videos. I'm very excited to see what you guys think about the market cap, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. So what is the market cap? Market capitalization refers to the total dollar market value of a company's outstanding shares of stock. The market cap allows investors to understand the relative size of one company versus another. Understanding the market cap is part of the fundamental analysis. It is usually used to compare companies within the same industry. People often talk about the biggest company in the world, and when they do, they refer to the biggest company in the world based on the market cap. As of recording this video, Apple is the biggest company in the world based on market cap. The total market cap for Apple is 1.98 trillion. If we check the top 10 companies in the world, we see that 9 out of 10 companies have their origin within the US. Saudi Aramco is the second largest company in the world and the only one from outside the US. So how to calculate the market cap? Well, that's quite easy. It is calculated by multiplying the price of a stock by its total number of outstanding shares. For example, the share price for company X is $20 and the company has 1000 shares outstanding. The total market cap is 20,000. If we check company I, we see that the price per share is $30, so it's actually $10 higher than company X, which is at $20. But company I has only 500 shares outstanding, meaning a market cap of 15,000. Company Z has the highest price per share, $50. The company has 300 shares outstanding, so the market cap is also 15,000. Company X has the lowest share price, but the highest market cap because of the shares outstanding. So the market cap is driven by the share price and the shares outstanding. When the share price increases, the market cap increases as well, as long as the shares outstanding are staying at the same level. If the share price is exactly the same, but the shares outstanding increases, the market cap will increase as well. In reality, the market cap will go up and down on a daily basis. In this example, we see that on Monday, company X has a share price of $20 and 1,000 shares outstanding. The total market cap is 20,000. On Tuesday, the share price increases to $22, but the shares outstanding is still at 1,000. Total market cap is 22,000 and has increased 2,000. On Wednesday, the company decided to issue new shares, bringing the total to 1,100 shares outstanding. But the stock prices declines to $18, giving them a market cap of 19.8 thousand. And how about the different sizes and categories? Well, there are six market cap categories to classify a company. The first one being large market cap companies with a total market cap of more than 200 billion. Companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon and Alphabet. Often bought because of popularity, safety or just because they are proven businesses. Most of the times, these companies are slower growing. Next in line is large cap with a market cap of 10 billion to 200 billion. Examples are McDonald's, Walt Disney, Nike and UPS. These are big companies with still some growth potential. Mid cap companies are companies with a market cap of 2 billion to 10 billion. These are in potential the large cap or mega cap companies for the future. Relatively still decent sized companies, but there is some risk, of course, when you do invest in these companies. Small cap companies are companies with a market cap of 250 million to 2 billion. These are, in most cases, young companies with a lot of potential, but of course also with more risk. A famous index that tracks these companies is the Russell 2000. The last two in this list are the micro and nano cap companies which I advise to stay away from unless you really understand everything about the business and market conditions. I also checked what the most frequently asked questions were about the market cap. And the first being, what is a good market cap? 
Well, technically, there's no good or bad market cap. It's a number which you can use to compare companies within the same industry in most cases. A higher market cap doesn't automatically mean that it's a better company. The next question is, what is a high market cap? Well, there are six classifications when it comes down to the market cap. Large cap being the biggest, that includes companies with a total market cap bigger than 200 billion. These are the largest companies in the world. And how does the market cap increases? The market cap increases by an increase in stock price or in shares outstanding. But in order to increase, the other part of the formula needs to be flat or increasing as well. Which companies have the highest market cap in the world? As of recording this video, Apple has the biggest market cap in the world with almost 2 trillion. And this was the full explanation of what a market cap is. I hope you understand what the market cap is and how you calculate it and use it when analyzing companies. This was the first educational video in this list and all the feedback is welcome. If you still have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. And remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about a stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the fundamental analysis to you. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.